Hi, thanks for joining me again to watch this video. Today we're making lamb kofta kebabs, which are lovely Greek kebabs. So we have 250 grams of minced lamb in our bowl. And then we're just going to add in half a slice of bread. So this is just regular bread and it's just had a little milk poured over it so you can see it's not got a lot of milk it's just literally been soaked in a little milk and then you just leave that for a couple of minutes and then you just add it into your mixture and I'm adding in half a chopped onion this is just a small onion and I've chopped it up quite finely and one tablespoon of garlic puree You just want to make sure you get all of that in. Then I'm going to add some parsley. So I've chopped my parsley quite fine as well. So this is one and a half tablespoons of chopped parsley. And the parsley gives it a nice flavour, but it also gives it lovely green flakes, which is quite pretty. And I'm going to add in some dried herbs and spices so I've got some ground cinnamon here I'm just adding in quarter of a teaspoon you don't want to add too much but these begin to build the flavour together and quarter of a teaspoon of dried mint you can use fresh mint and if you were using fresh you would probably add about a tablespoon and quarter of a teaspoon of ground coriander. Now ground coriander has quite a different flavour to fresh so I would recommend you use ground in this recipe. And quarter of a teaspoon of ground cumin. So if you didn't have any of these herbs, if there was one you didn't have or a couple, you can leave them out um, or as a substitute for some fresh herbs. So I'm going to add some sea salt and again just a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt and quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. It's just ground black pepper. And that's all the ingredients. So adding in the bread gives your kebabs a lighter texture than if it was just meat and it also replaces the need to add egg. So I've been doing this with all of my recipes that are similar like making beef burgers and I find that the bread soaked in a little milk is actually a much better texture and um, it it just cooks much, much nicer and keeps the meat really moist. So I much prefer using this um, than using egg. But you can use egg if you don't want to use the bread. So you just want to start to break up the mince and mix in all the ingredients. And then the easiest thing to do is actually then to just use your hand and just start to mash all the ingredients together. But it really doesn't take long just to mix it together and make sure that everything's um, all together. So just mix it all up and then you can start to make your kebabs. And you can also use this ingredients or this mix to just make um, small patties. You don't have to, or meatball type shapes. You don't have to actually put them onto skewers, but I quite like to put them onto skewers. So I'm just going to start by quartering my mix because I'm going to make four kebabs. So it's easy just to do that with a knife and then you can just use each section and that should keep them fairly equal in size. So you can use metal skewers. Metal skewers are recommended because they help to cook the meat from the inside and they're really good for like really hot like barbecues and grills but they don't fit my pan. So today I'm using these bamboo skewers and these have been soaked in water 
and the water prevents the skewer from burning. So you just want to start to shape the meat. So you can see it is quite nice. It's got, you can see the ingredients through it, which I think is really nice. You can see the parsley and also the onion. So if you find that it's sticking to your hand, you can also wet your hands. But I didn't feel that I needed to do that, but sometimes people also wet their hands just to make it a little easier. So it's just a case of squeezing the meat and then it can be shaped right round. So you can make, um, you can double up the mix or just keep um, doubling it up and you can make really large kebabs as well. But I'm just um, using these for a dinner time, just for two people. So you can see I made them all up. I've just made the four and as, as I say, they're quite a, just a medium size. And I've got this griddle pan. Now griddle pans are really, really good for making kebabs. So I'm just going to set all four in at the same time and I've got it on quite a high heat. You want your heat to be on round about sort of half to the higher mark. So you want it sort of medium to high, but you really want it fairly high to make sure that you get a good sizzle. If your pan isn't sizzling when you put the meat in, then you need to turn your cooker up a bit. So I've got mine at five and you can see I've just turned it down a wee bit and they're really grilling off nice. So I'm just using some tongs and I'm just moving them around slightly. I'm trying to keep an even colouring on the whole kebab. So you can see here the, the sides are pink. So this is me doing a quarter turn. So I've done one side, I've done the top side, the bottom side, and now I'm just working on this, the, the other sides. So that means you just turn it a quarter and then you can just keep frying it up. So this is the finished kebab. So I've served up with some fries or chips and some salad. And this is my tzatziki. I've also got a tzatziki recipe, which is a yogurt dip with, with cucumber. It's really, really nice. So if you've not seen that recipe, I'd recommend you have a look at that and I'll put the link onto the video. So I really hope that you've enjoyed watching today and that you can subscribe to see more videos and that you'll also consider becoming a patron to support us in our work.